Good morning, Mariah. How are you? I'm great, Tiffany. How are you? I am doing well. Thank you for hopping on the call with me. Oh, I'm so excited to talk to you. All right. Well, let's get started. So, Mariah, I've just got a couple questions for you. I wanted to pick your sure. brain about um, the stuff that you do and getting people organized, especially, you know, new home homeowners and yep. people looking, you know, to, to sell and things like that. So, what are some tips or suggestions that you have for a homeowner who is preparing to list their home and make sure that it's show ready? Yeah, so I think the most important thing is to start as early as you can. Um, it's really challenging, I think. I actually, we sold our house last summer and moved. And it's very hard, even when you are an organized person, to get all of your ducks in a row to get that house ready to go. So I feel like if you know that even in a couple years, you are thinking about maybe downsizing because your, your kids are going to be out of the house or or upsizing, whatever the circumstances may be, take that time to start going through some of the items that are taking up a lot of space. Um, and, you know, determining, like, if things need to be donated, getting them out of your house, if you want to sell certain items, that type of thing. I think any work that you can do far in advance will make the few weeks leading up to listing your home that much better and you can focus on all the little things like setting flowers out and you know that kind of thing versus like oh my gosh my pantry is a disaster <laughs> well thank you for that yeah um okay and what about um some organizational tips that you have for someone who's settling into a new home and they want to start off you know on the right track yeah so i think um you know, sometimes I feel like people sell a home without having their next home ready. But if you do know the home that you're moving into, be really intentional about how you are labeling your boxes. Um, maybe something that lives in your office currently is actually going to live in a spare bedroom in the, in the new home. So be super, um, you know, strategic about that so that when you pay your movers to come and help you, they're getting things into the right spot. And then, you know, my philosophy with some clients, if they didn't take the time to purge um, or, or kind of edit at their last home is leave some of those questionable boxes in the garage and just tackle one box a day, but don't bring anything into your house that, that you know, just doesn't serve you anymore. Um, even designating a spot in your garage for say like a Salvation Army pickup or, um, you know, a donation to Coburn Place or something like that is really helpful. Just, I mean, keep that mindset of, I don't wanna bring anything into this house that's not really going to serve me anymore. And the other thing that I would say is, you know, oftentimes like your bins and baskets, say in your pantry, might not transfer to your new pantry because every space is set up so differently. You know, organizers in your bathroom drawers, that sort of thing. So take everything out kind of set up your own container store, maybe on your dining room table or something like that with all the bins and baskets and then start to just kind of see um, where they work in your new house. And if that sounds overwhelming to you, call in help. There's so many people, myself included, I, I organize for clients. So, um, you know, call in some reinforcements to help get you settled in quickly so that you can start enjoying your home, um, you know, immediately versus it taking a year or so to settle. <laughs> Well, thank you. I really, really appreciate you doing this. Yes, so good to see you, Tiffany. You too. Tell Tyler hello. I will. Same to your family. All right. Thank you so okay. much. Yep. Bye. All right. Bye.